Hi guys, welcome back to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the top things that you need to know before you buy an OBD2 or Diagnostic Code Reader Scan Tool in 2022, 2023 and beyond. There's a lot of conflicting information out there about what the tools will do. There's a lot of products on the market and it can be a minefield knowing which tool to go for and whether it will be suitable enough for your needs. So in this video, we're gonna to get to the top and bottom of all of these things. And by the end of the video, you'll have a better idea about what you need to look for when looking for a diagnostic tool and maybe which tool will be specifically good for you and your needs. Um, at the end of the video, I'll also um, recommend a tool that I would personally recommend, if that makes sense, um, for you and your specific vehicle. There's a lots, of, lots of kits out there and it can be hard to know which one to get. So I'll recommend a tool that I would say, depending on what your circumstances are, and I'll go through a few different circumstances. And although we do have a Porsche flag at the front, we have a Porsche here, the video is suitable for all makes and models. So don't just assume that this is for Porsche cars, okay? Um, so the first thing we'll look at is the tool capability. Now, Depending on the price of the tool will probably mean that the tool has more or less capabilities. So say for example, you could very easily go onto Amazon, you could pick up a little dongle which connects to your iPhone or your, your iPad or something like that, and it might cost 10, 15, 20 pounds. Um, once you plug it into the vehicle, you'll probably find that a tool of that price will be very, very, um, limited in what it can do. So it won't give you a lot of, it won't give you basically any functionality at all. What it will probably do is allow you to read like an engine fault code and a little bit of live data from the vehicle. That's probably what the, the cheapest OBD2 tools will do. So if you're looking to get a tool that, you, you know, you need to maybe reset a service light or you need to reset or diagnose an airbag light, an ABS warning light, traction control warning light, it's completely pointless going for the cheaper tools. You need to get a tool with capabilities for that system. So if, say for example, you need to, buy, you need, you need to diagnose an ABS fault, you need to get a tool which covers ABS faults, all right? And that is the same for lots of different systems within the vehicle. You need to get a tool which is compatible with that vehicle and for that system. Um, and we make it easy at Diagnostic World, so we do like, what I'll do is I'll pop a link in the description below this video, and you just really need to click onto your manufacturer, and then it will give you lists of the whole system coverage um, and the functions that it will cover within those, within those particular vehicles. So, Tool functionality is the first one. Make sure that you get a tool which is suitable for your vehicle and suitable for your specific systems that you're looking to diagnose in your vehicle. The second thing to consider is the prices of these tools. What you'll generally find is that the cheapest tools will pretty much cover just the basic, like I said before, the engine fault. Um, right up to, you can go up to, you know, two and a half, three thousand pounds, which really you're looking at sort of a, a high-end professional diagnostic package for the high-end garages, etc. Anything in between, so let's say you've got 20 pounds for your most basic scan tool, which honestly I would just, I would kind of stay away from because um, they're really not going to be that much help to you unless you've got that very specific engine fault in your vehicle. So I would say generally, I mean, this tool here, for example, this is a, a version 1.0 tool, and I cost to I cost off to a range of like version one, version two, version three, and then the multi-vehicle um, and professional packages. So the version 1.0 tool, uh, tool, this is like 99 pounds, and this will cover all of your main systems. So it covers engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, and all, all of the systems which are installed into that vehicle. And you'll also get the opportunity to do the oil service resets on this as well. So that is what a 99 pound tool will get you. So let's say 100 pounds will get you a tool which will do that. And as you go through the price ranges, the kind of increase in functionality. So this one gives you everything that this one does. This is the version 2.0 and it does more service functions. So DPF regeneration, uh, injector coding, brake bleeding, you get the idea. It does more and more functions. Um, again, you go up to the version 3.0. This does calibrations, uh, actuation tests. It does component testing. So uh, as we come up the line, the one, two and three, you get more functionality out of these tools. Um, 
And then you come into the, the, the range of around about sort of 350, 450, 500. And there you'll be looking at a really comprehensive tool which will generally do all manufacturers, it'll do all systems, and it'll do a wide range, a wide spectrum of service functions as well. So that is where you're looking at price-wise. Um, it all really depends on finding the right, um, sort of the, the, the right mixture of what price is good for you, what your budget is, versus the functions that you need to get out of a tool. Next up, number three, you need to know about updates for these tools. Uh, some tools will give you free updates for life, which is a real bonus. Some tools you will need to pay for updates, okay? So generally what we'd say is the iCarsoft tools, which I've got a range in front of me below here, um, these tools will all give you free updates for life. That is what is really good about the iCarsoft brand. You'll never, once you've paid for the tool, you'll never have to pay for anything else. When it comes to Autel, you'll get one year free um, updates and then after that you'll have to pay for updates for the, the next year and it's like £130 per year, something like that. Um, so that's Autel, then you've got another big company called Xtool. Um, what they generally tend to do is they'll give you three years free updates and then after that you have to pay like, it's like £77 or $100 per year for the updates. Uh, so just make sure that you are understanding and get a clear in writing as to what the manufacturer will do for you when it comes to updates, future updates for the tool. Do they come free, which all of the iCarsoft products do, or do you need to pay a yearly subscription like Autel and Xtool and a lot of the other manufacturers as well. So just be aware of that. Next up, number four, is the magic pill. It's a misconception that these tools will just simply turn off your warning light without having done any prior work or any prior uh, investigation as to why a warning light is on your car. Um, it, they can do that in very, very small circumstances. So if, say for example, your car has a, an intermittent check engine light, something like that, whereas there was a fault on the vehicle, but it's intermittent, so it's not happening right now, you'll be able to use the tool, no problem, go in and just turn off the warning light. But let's say you've got a more serious fault with like the ABS sensors or the ABS system or the airbag system or any other system within your vehicle. The chances are it's not going to be an intermittent fault. It will be a, probably an electrical fault or a sensor fault. If a sensor fails, then the warning light will come on and you need to diagnose the fault and reset it. It's impossible to think that even if there is a fault within your vehicle, like let's say you had a faulty ABS sensor, you couldn't just pick up one of these tools, plug it in and then clear the warning light and clear the codes and nothing would ever come back. That's not how diagnostics work. That's not, that's not how the ethics of these diagnostic tools work. The warning lights on your dashboard are there for a reason. They're there to tell you there's a fault within a specific system. If there's a warning light on for that system, it's a serious system and it's a serious fault. It can be a case whereby there are smaller faults within each system, but they're not deemed serious enough to have a warning light on screen. So if you've got a warning light on screen, it's telling you this for a reason because the fault is serious and you need to use the tool to actually diagnose it and get it repaired properly before you can then turn off the warning light. Next up, number five, is that the chances are if you were to buy one of these tools but you weren't really interested in fixing the fault yourself, um, what, it, what, what a lot of people think that they can do is just say, for example, buy the tool and then give the fault codes to the garage and say, by the way, here's the fault, please fix this fault. What garages will want to do and what they will tend to do is they will generally, they won't know which tool you've used, so they don't know how, um, how much of a good background or how much of a, a good tool that product is. So what they'll always want to do is they'll always want to hook up their own, their own tools because they've paid a lot of money for their tools as well. So they want to use their tools and they want to get their readings and get their codes from their machine. Uh, so even though you might have spent like £100 on a product to get the codes to give them to the garage, the garage will more than likely still hook up their tool. They will charge you for hooking their tool up to your vehicle as well. And it can cost anywhere from, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, right up to like £100, depending on the, the garage, whether it's a main dealer or whether it's a back street garage, or depending on the type of tool or the, the type of service they're offering. So just be aware of that. They will use their own tool and they probably will st still charge you for that. 
So the sixth and final thing you need to know about these tools is who you can trust. There are, as I mentioned earlier, there are lots of manufacturers for tools. What you need to understand is that a lot of these manufacturers, they will make their own software and then other companies will piggyback on the back of other manufacturers' software, just make their own little unit, put the other manufacturers' software in their unit and then claim it all to be there. So unfortunately, there are, that, that's why there are so many manufacturers out there who are claiming to have a sort of individual software that will do this and do that, when in reality, a lot of the, uh, the original manufacturers are the ones that are putting in the work. So the manufacturer, it's all known sort of who to trust. Um, the manufacturers that I could say you can trust will be Autel because Autel have been um, at the top of the game. They've been right at the top of the league, let's say, uh, for many, many years now. And they've been doing great stuff on their own products um, to develop their own software. Then you've got the likes of Xtool and Foxwell and iCarsoft who are maybe haven't been around as long as Autel. Certainly iCarsoft have been uh, around for a bit of a shorter time, but they really are making great strides. You know, when the when the products first came onto the market, they weren't they were okay, they weren't that good. But in recent years, the the products have really stepped up a gear, and now iCarsoft, let's say for example, are one of the best tool manufacturers out there. But you know, there are, there are, every time I go on Amazon, I see a brand new name or a brand new claiming to be manufacturer creating these tools. And just be aware that. They probably aren't creating the software, so you probably won't get any sort of um, help or support when it comes to if you have a problem with these tools. So I would say the brands you can trust, Autel, I would say iCarsoft, Xtool, Foxwell, um, and they, they are the brands that I would, oh, there's a company called Autofix who are partnered with Autel as well. Uh, they are really the brands that I would say definitely go for because you'll get good um, help and support if you do go through those products and you do have an issue. Uh, and the tools will work as they say they will. Uh, so at the start of the video, I said I would recommend a certain product for you depending on your circumstances. Well, it all does depend on that. It depends on your circumstances. So if you wanted to, what I'll do is I'll pop a link in the description below this video um, and you'll see a screen pop up and just simply click your manufacturer. Okay, and then once you click your manufacturer, you'll see a list of tools which are suitable for your specific manufacturer. Um, like I say, the, the, the more you pay, the more functionality you're gonna get out of a tool. So have a click on the, the products that are there and you'll probably see that the, the lower priced tools will do not as much, but then the next priced up tool will do more, then the next price up will do more, so on and so on. But I'd certainly recommend the, anything from the iCarsoft range, the version one, two, uh, the version three, they're starting to roll these out for a lot of manufacturers now, but they're not out for all manufacturers yet. So you should at least see a version of one and a version two on the, the page there for your manufacturer. Uh, but if you wanted to get a, a multi-vehicle manufacturer with a lot of functions and basically the best tool you can for your money, then I would say certainly look no further than the iCost of the CR Max because this is, um, it covers a wide range of service functions, it covers a wide range of vehicles, a wide range of systems within those vehicles. It does bi-directional actuation tests, component testing, um, calibrations for suspension and DPF regenerations, ABS brake bleeding, injector coding, and I could go on and on. This tool is a really, really good package. So if you want a, a multi-vehicle package, you've got more than one vehicle to look after, certainly go for this one. Uh, any of these three tools, the Vision 1, the Vision 2, or the Vision 3, depending on what you can afford, is where I'd go for if you didn't want a multi-vehicle manufacturer package. And that is about it on this video. Um, I hope you found it useful. I hope you've maybe learned something from this video before going in and jumping in and buying a diagnostic scan tool. Um, like I say, there are many, many tools out there. Just be very careful about the tool uh, and make sure you get the right functionality out of a tool before you go ahead and buy it. Make sure it'll cover your vehicle and it'll cover your specific systems within your vehicle. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.